So what's going on guys, my name is Ash and welcome back to yet another video, this is a double upload tonight. Normally I wouldn't do this but I've just found some even more awesome data mined information on Reddit. But before we get into it I'd appreciate it if you guys could drop a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one. But with that said I hope you guys enjoy the video, have a very very good day, peace. So just a quick little side note before we start the video, the gameplay you're going to see is 54-2 and two on Breakout, and I think I die like two off a of Deatomizer again or something like that. Anyways, not that you care about that, what you came here to see is news on weapon bribes and when they're going to be added to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. So I'm sure by now you know that I have an unhealthy obsession with surfing Reddit, even in school hours, and most of the time it's a complete waste of time. Not today, however. So like I said, I was surfing the Infinite Warfare subreddit and I noticed a section where it said data mined weapon bribe icons so I decided to have a click on it and I'm not gonna lie guys there's literally about 15 images here. Legally I can't show you I might just about get away with it in the thumbnail though if you do see that but like I said there is multiple bribe icons that clearly show what they're gonna have inside of them which is what I'm gonna explain now. So to start off we have pretty much a supply drop icon and it's purple and it says legendary on it which symbolizes what you're gonna get in that supply drop is gonna be legendary so we're gonna call this a legendary weapon bribe this is where you can get nuke variants and all that kind of stuff similarly we also have an epic supply drop which has an epic variant in it inferring that there is also an epic weapon bribe however guys there are more and they kind of look like the advanced warfare prestige icons you know the gold one so first off more importantly there is a mark 2 gold icon which which infers you can get a mark to weapon bribe and there is also one with like a hammer on it which may infer we're getting a melee weapon bribe which would furthermore support the fact we're getting an axe as a melee weapon we also have icons with combat rig accessories on like an FTL head which suggests there's gonna be bribes so you can get stuff for your combat rigs which is kind of cool there is also one with the quartermaster and it has multiple assault rifles coming off each side of him like the KBAT and the NV4 which suggests that an assault rifle weapon bribe. Now whether this is legendary or epic or even rare or common, we don't know. There are also things for taunts and gestures, but what interests me more than anything is that there's separate gold icons with certain weapons on them. So there's like the NV4, the Raw, the K-Bar, the Oni, the E-Rad, the KBS Longbow. So it suggests that we might actually be getting weapon bribes for certain weapons. Which, to be honest, means we might get epics in them, we might get legendaries, we might get rares, or we might get commons, which would piss people off. But, yeah... It's kind of interesting. Before you call this fake, I suggest you take a look at the images in the description. There'll be a link to them. And they do look pretty legit. And I'm sure this guy's been leaking data before and it's turned out to be correct. Like the Christmas guns, if you remember them. Now, whether this is being added in patch 1.09 or patch 1.10 we're uncertain, to be honest with you. Like, I have no idea. They have obviously just released a 2.7 gigabyte update, which means they must have included something, but whether they decide to release that now is another matter. Obviously, I'll keep you guys updated like I always do, but yeah, let me know what you think of it. Now, I have an interesting way Infinity Ward could actually reward us with weapon bribes if they do decide to release them into the game, and I hope they would take this into consideration. Don't you guys think that it'd be cool that in the mission teams, we're only getting weapons once every 10 commander levels, so it'd be awesome if they could add like a weapon bribe or something, or some sort of random bribe that we don't know, it's like a classified bribe and then we know what it is when we unlock it so they put one of them bribes uh, behind certain levels in the mission teams to give us even more of a reason to grind except for salvage because then we have the thought that we can actually get something out of the mission teams they could also do it how Sledgehammer did it in Advanced Warfare, where they add some extra prestiges, but every time you prestige after Prestige 10, instead of getting a classic weapon unlock, you get a weapon bribe. Don't you think that would be cool? 
But yeah, that just about sums it up for this video, guys. Be sure to comment your opinions on this video. Also, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'd really appreciate that. And with all that being said, guys, I do hope you have a really, really good day. I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, I'll catch you all later. I might actually do a triple upload. Peace.